People want to have an all or nothing. Either all sightings are alien spacecraft or none are. Well, I don't look at things that way at all. There are some that are genuine and some that are fraudulent. Start not knowing, see what you can find out, and reach a conclusion. And it's not simply to go out and to explain everything as a genuine UFO. Uh, many things that people see are entirely explainable in conventional terms. The case that we're investigating is intriguing. Sitting directly above my head, not 90 degrees, but 80 degrees. As I push down on the shutter, the object just swoops in and stays there. You saw this? I saw that with my naked eye. Do you guys want to see this? These are the two pictures that oh. Wilbur gave us on the disc. Good. On the far left is the anomalous light over there. Right. Yeah. It's different. It's definitely different from the other lights. It looks a little innocuous at first. Oh. And it's what oval. Kind of light is there? Large. It is oval shaped. When I look at this, I think, is there possibly a structure that is creating that light source? Well, Despite what he says. I'd... We got a second one. This was open shutter right. for three and a half minutes. As he I saw yeah. this light horizontally streak by. Right. And if it's true, it's, it's mind-blowing. If it's not, what is the conventional real-world explanation for what he saw? And, you know, then we can maybe make a, a fair judgment on how he interpreted it. I think for a place to be haunted, there needs to be activity happening that's apparent to the people that occupy the space and it affects their way of life. I think there's spaces out there that does have paranormal activity happening, but either the people are not sensitive to it or the entities, they don't bother the occupants. So if there is activity that cannot be explained and is affecting someone's way of life in any way, then it's a haunting. And Angie has a lot of this going on at night. Something rubbing, rubbing her face and pulling her hair back. And the baby wow. as well. The baby will wake up like, uh, uh, really? Something. Yeah, something is um, touching her. And she's like, stop, stop. Um, one night she was laying in bed sleeping and she heard this drawer open wide open. And she sat up and she saw the drawer was open and she saw something about this tall, just a silhouette and it was dark, walk from here across this window area and just walked away like it disappeared. Okay. Where did you see him from here? They were dancing all around the middle. They were dancing, they were all in a cluster together. All, all very just anxious, very anxious. That's what I felt that they were very nervous about us being uh, coming so close to them. They didn't, they, they, they didn't like that. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give it a blessing, and uh, see how the house feels from there. Talk to Mary about it. See how she feels after the blessing. And I guess I get to take part in this, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. This will be fun and interesting. Yes. So come join us and let's see how this goes. All right, this is the room that we really need to say very strong prayers over. This, I feel, is like the center of the core here of the home. Okay. Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, please, Holy Spirit, please bless this home. Right over here where you saw the manifestations or someone else saw the manifestations right. around you and you've seen some things over there, mm -hmm. that's where we were walking around and I said, do you feel anything through here? And she stopped in that exact spot and said, right here something. Mm -hmm. And that's the exact spot where their friends sitting saw here. something on me. Oh.